This is before. This is how I look like without makeup. This is what happens when you have a camera in your face with no makeup on. Any woman of any culture, of any ethnicity, could walk up to any counter and find what she needs. That's the dream. Hi, I'm here with Lazarus, who literally made all of us Andaz girls look unbelievable. He's our new makeup god, and we just wanted to say thank you so much for everything you've well, done for you're us. You're quite welcome for being my model. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I want to know, how did you get started doing makeup, and how did you realize it was your passion? Actually, I got started into makeup as an accident. I was... A frustrated artist from the time I was a kid. I lost my portfolio, I wanted to go to art school. Uh, I ended up taking a job as a security guard because I didn't go into art school because I lost my portfolio. <laughs> wow. So I'm working in a security guard at uh, department stores in New York and suddenly I started to watch the makeup artists because that's where all the pretty girls were, so that's where I wanted to be posted. <laughs> so I'm watching makeup artists and started to realize that makeup is actually art. I had never made that connection before. So dated a young lady that was a makeup artist and she started to teach me and here I am 18 years later. Wow, what a journey. And so I noticed that when you were doing our makeup, you didn't apply foundation first. You started off with our eyes. Why exactly did you do that? It never made sense to me to do foundation first. I think that by doing the eyes first, I get to focus. The eyes are usually the most intense part. Mm. I get to focus on that. I could be a little bit fun, a little bit sloppy with it. It falls on, on the eye. And also when you're doing uh, the eyes, you have a tendency to touch the face. Yeah. And that doesn't make sense for me to have foundation already there. So okay. I figure clean the face, do the eyes, and afterwards I do the foundation after the eyes are done so it's the uh, finishing touch. Yeah, and it all comes together. I find it really hard to find the right foundation for myself. Like sometimes it'll be too thick and cakey or sometimes it's yeah. not enough coverage. What do you recommend for that? Companies that I would love to give uh, a thumbs up to because they did take uh, the fact that this is a multicultural world into consideration, you have Makeup Forever. They've yeah. done an awesome, amazing, amazing job. Right. You have lines like Becca, you have uh, Bobby Brown, you know, and a couple of other companies too that are waking up and realizing, hey, not everyone fits within five shades. Any woman of any culture, of any ethnicity, could walk up to any counter and find what she needs. Yeah. That's the dream. Yeah, and I know that you've been doing this for a long time. You have so much experience. Can you tell us a little bit about what celebrities you've worked with? Oh, I hate name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with uh, Iman and I've worked with uh, Wendy Williams and, and my favorite one was Anne Rice, uh, Anne the Rice. writer of uh, Interview with the Vampire and the Vampire Lestat. Uh, that was my favorite celebrity. Uh, guys, uh, I do grooming for men as well. Mm -hmm. I just groom 50 Cent, wow. Puffy, you know, uh, Avant, Genuine. The list and, goes yeah, on and yeah. on and on, yeah. yeah. Is there any advice that you can give to our South Asian viewers at home? Like, say they want to go out for a night and they just want to get glammed up. Like, what can you tell them? The biggest thing that could transform a look from day into night, okay, one, false lashes. She's wearing them. And she'll That's tell you like, difference. all the ladies, they all said the same thing. Oh my God, do you put on the lashes and then everything just woke up? <laughs> you know, yeah. so false lashes are, are one great way of transforming evening to night. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is to actually go with, you may want to do a lighter coverage in the daytime, you know, and then do a little bit more coverage, a little bit more color, have a little bit more fun. If you rim the eyes, on the inside, you know, and the inside of the eye, that gives a little bit more pop to the eye. Mm. So then like, cause most of the time when people are talking about evening, they're talking about going on dates and they're talking about going to dinner and having conversations. Where people recognize you is right here. Right in the eyes. So you put the work right there and that makes a transformation and you will captivate your audience. Well, it's so great to have you on our show and thank you so much for the amazing, amazing makeup that you did for us. Thank you very much. And you guys could find me at LazarusTheMakeupMan.com. My name is Lazarus Jean-Baptiste. The Makeup God.